Good morning all. Uh, just a quickie. This LED or block of four LEDs, or at least what looks like a block of four LEDs, um, was in this light bulb. It's a G9 uh, LED replacement for an incandescent light bulb. This is the circuit. I said at the time that I thought it was a capacitive dropper. I'm now not entirely sure that's the case because there was mains on the input connections here and I measured a DC voltage across the LED plate of 80 something volts and so it isn't actually dropping much but uh, the, besides that um, I'm just intrigued by whether this LED block what appears to be four LEDs actually takes um, 85 or whatever it was volts before it lights up so I want to just do a quick test uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is solder some longer wires onto this LED plate. Now it is actually marked with a plus and a minus, so um, I shouldn't need to check which way round it is. Uh, I'll just go with those markings, I think. Right, that's got some uh, longer wires on there, so I can attach it to my power supply. Now if this does indeed need 80-something volts, then this power supply, which can only go up to about 38 volts, isn't going to drive it, but I'd like to use this one first because the only power supply I've got that will go up to 80 volts is this one, which goes up to 120 volts. It's a bit of a beast. Um, and I'm a little bit concerned because this only goes up in increments of 10 milliamps. And I'm planning to set this initially to, I don't know, 20 milliamps or something like that. And something just doesn't seem quite right about um, having a power supply that's regulating 85 volts at uh, 20 milliamps but um, let's try it on this one first and take this up to the maximum voltage right so i've set this one to 20 milliamps uh, 12 volts which should be just enough to light up four regular white leds not very bright probably but uh, let's attach it to this power supply then switch on and see whether it does indeed uh, light up okay and uh, no, we've got 12 volts coming out, no current of course, and no, it doesn't light up. So now I'll start winding this up in voltage. Uh, so it's possible to do that with the output switched on. So let's start winding that up and see whether there's even a glimmer coming out of that thing. Well, there's certainly nothing yet at 20 volts. Uh, nothing at 30 volts. What's that? Oh, that's the um, inductors buzzing. Uh, this is the D3806, I think, so it goes up to 38 volts. Let's take it all the way up. And uh, no, even at 38 volts, there's still nothing happening on that LED. So uh, maybe it does need a higher voltage. Right, so connecting it onto the uh, BST900, 900, 900 watts, supposedly maximum uh, power and I've set it for 12 volts as a starting voltage and 20 milliamps again but you can see on this one that the current goes up in 10 milliamp increments on the other one it goes up in 1 milliamp increments so it's a fairly coarse uh, scale so let's start uh, winding the voltage up uh, I need to um, switch on that's interesting it's at 13 volts okay let's start winding that up and this thing goes all the way up to 120 volts dc and i'm often uh now my current limit should still be 20 milliamps but i've got to watch uh did it go into current limit there 70 volts Ah, that's starting to come on now at 73 volts, 75 volts. Yes, that's starting to light up, 77 volts, uh, 80 volts. That's got a bit of reasonable brightness to it, but it doesn't seem to have current limited yet. Now, this is measuring no current, but then it is a very coarse uh, measurement. So let's take it a little bit further. 84 volts. Oh, that's getting quite bright. It has actually gone into current limit. The current is 20 milliamps. Um, so that shouldn't actually go any higher. 85 volts. Yeah, so it's, it's settled at about 85 volts, which I think is pretty remarkable, really. Uh, this power supply is quite interesting. I've set it to uh, 90 volts at 20 milliamps. And if I switch on, uh, let's have a look at volts. 
it actually goes to 90 volts in constant voltage, it takes a, a while for the constant current to actually kick in and wind it back to 84 volts. So for a brief period, it's actually uh, over voltaged it, over currented it. Yeah, that's interesting how slow that reacts. Let's switch that off. Uh, so yeah, this um, LED plate, um, it's got four what look like single LEDs on it, D1, D2, D3, D4, um, must have more individual LEDs inside each of those uh, little square chips because uh, it does indeed need something like 85 volts to light it up. It takes about 75 volts to actually start lighting it up, but yeah, 85 volts to get it at full brightness. Interesting. Cheerio.